Welcome to another episode of Reef Keeping. What's up guys, it's Noah here, your Reef Geek. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Last week I know I was supposed to uh, post up a video and I'm sorry because I was out camping at uh, Nebraska at a park called Neobara. N-I-O-B-R-A-R-A. -R -R -A. Try to say that 10 times, that's pretty hard to say. But anyways, I was out there filming on my GoPro and I was hoping to be able to um, film an episode for you guys and I started doing it and I didn't know that when I got home to edit it that the wind was way too strong to even hear what I was saying. But anyways, um, I'll, I'll show you a little, clip, uh, a little clip of what it was like out there. It was beautiful. A great st state park if you haven't checked it out. It's between South Dakota and Nebraska. Right down that Mississippi, uh, no, no, not Mississippi, Missouri River or something like that. But anyways, check out the tank. Um, you know, things are doing okay. Could be better, could be better, but uh, I can't complain, you know. Some people don't have a tank at all. But anyways, this episode is going to be something that I'm personally experiencing right now, which is RTN, Rapid Tissue Necrosis. Now, what that means is that your SPS has an infection that is rapidly eating its tissue and can spread, you know, overnight and can kill the colony. Now, I narrowed this down when I had a friend came over my house and he was checking on the tank because I was telling him I had this issue before with pH swings, uh, which we... Um, fixed with the vinegar and you know I tried other methods like putting more air into my tank uh, but that didn't help but um, you know now I did this and I'm still losing some of the corals actually um, quite a bit as you can see so I had him come, come over and he took a look at this and he had this issue before which is RTN um, and so he told me, you know, this is what I'm experiencing as well, which is the unfortunate part because my tank usually is pretty clean. And he asked me when did I start experiencing this tissue uh, loss. And that was when I told him that it was not too long ago, I think about two months or so, when I started, I bought this moose colony from someone in the, in, uh, the local uh, place around here. And I put it in here and I started losing stuff. So. That explains it. Uh, at least I have a little bit of idea of what else it could be that is killing my corals. Um, but fortunately, I'm not losing it as fast as he, you know, he was uh, losing his. He said it took about a week or two weeks for it to basically kill all his SPS in the tank. So I was like, wow. It's, I mean, for me, it's been more than a month, but it's been slowly um, losing uh, the tissue. So maybe it's STN, slow tissue necrosis. But um, What's going on is that, uh, I Google a lot about this virus, is that uh, it's something that basically, you know, someone, ex a lot of people experience, but no one has an idea what can cure this, this issue. Um, I've heard people doing, you know, 60% of water changes to 80% to 100%. I've heard people saying that the flow was an issue and then they added pumps and still that didn't fix the issue. I've heard people say rapid swings in alkalinity than pH and uh, you know I've, I fixed my pH swings so I don't know what it could be but it cannot be the pH swings I know that so you know it's it's a common issue well not a common issue but it does happen it's a virus a back to a virus to your um, SPS and it could take off and kill off everything and like I said uh, I'm fortunate enough to at least have my corals are still here. My friend said it took him like two weeks and it wiped out his whole tank. So um, what I'm doing is first, don't be discouraged about this issue. Uh, Cause when you get discouraged, you get lazy and you just give up and you just don't want to do anything and just watch your tank decline. But what I did to be proactive is um, to cut frags from the main colony into, you know, smaller frags and to keep at least, you know, Keep them around the tank because you never know if it's attacking the main colony maybe you know the colony will uh, eventually die but if you frag enough then at least those remaining from the main colony will survive so another thing he recommended was to um, to remove the dead tissue the ones that's already you know causing um, causing death I know there's a few in here that is you know slowly dying there's just a couple tips that are still alive but if I see that it's not gonna survive, I'm just gonna toss it out because I'd rather do that than have it spread. Um, 
Another thing he said was to super glue the ends once you cut it and uh, you know hopefully that stops it but honestly I haven't seen it stopping and it's been like about a month now I want to say so fortunately it hasn't take out the whole tank but I'm still watching it uh, slowly kill off my SPS uh, so this is kind of dis discouraging because uh, you know it's happening like this but um, I don't know what is causing this issue if you guys know what is causing this issue and how to solve it be sure to leave me a message below because I need to get rid of this I need to eradicate it and so I can keep my tank nice and live uh, on a brighter note one of my um, brain coral over there was like I didn't see it for like two three months and I thought it was dead but when I was cleaning out the tank I went behind here and I saw it over on this edge like under the rock so it was cool because it was still alive and it's an expensive piece uh, it's a tricolor brain uh, and hopefully it comes back to full color but um, you know at least it's alive I'm not too concerned about it and actually I'm surprised that you know my clam is still alive because you know my my tank has gone through quite a bit of uh, you know of challenges and uh, just seeing that the clam is still surviving is pretty encouraging because they say that clams need really good quality water but um, you know crossing my fingers that everything's gonna survive and uh, that's all I can that's all I can do otherwise I'm you know tomorrow I'm gonna probably see how far this is dying off and cut off the rest of it and also cut that off I've also done like a 60% water change, but it was like all the way down here. And man, that was a pain in the butt. That was like a half a day for me because I had to brew it and I had to do everything. And you know, it was, it wasn't fun to say the least. But uh, you know, it's done. Hopefully that'll take care of it. I have another gal five gallon brewing and I'll go ahead and change that out actually tonight after this video. But uh, you know, that's all I can do is I'm trying to cross off all the things that I could do and do as much of it as I can to try to prevent it from uh, you know damaging more of the tank that's the one thing that you gotta do is be encouraged and don't give up because when you give up man it's gonna suck because I know there were days I was just like I don't want to clean this tank I'll just let it go I don't want to brew water I'll just let it go but uh, it's an investment and if you don't put your time into it then you're gonna lose everything but then again you know it's one of those things that you uh, learn from being in the hobby like those, uh, the things I used to say is that, you know, even the people that are in the hobby the longest, just because you're in there the longest doesn't mean you are, you know, the king of reefing or keeping uh, these corals alive. Because I've seen people, you know, like my friend who's been there in the hobby for like 20 years, back when, you know, the light bulbs were like really thick VHOs or something like that. But uh, yeah, he doesn't know the answer and no one knows the answer, but hopefully you guys do so I can uh, learn some, from, something from you guys. Um, next video, I'm going to do a video about water test kits. So I figured, you know, I'm going to probably go pick up some uh, other water test kits and then I'll post a video on that. But for now, again, thanks for joining me. Unfortunately, I'm facing this. I'm going to battle it and I'll let you know what's going on. If you have any tips and advice, please let me know below. Remember to share, like, subscribe. And as always, you guys, keep reefing. See you later.